Hey, romance readers. Back with another video today because I was downstairs and I remembered you need to you didn't finish up that little small bookshelf too. So I'm gonna do that today. Go ahead and finish that up because I had totally forgot about it. Because I was thinking about what can I film. Um, I want to do a um, I want to film today and uh, but I was like, well, I'll just wait till tomorrow. But then I thought about I got that bookshelf I need to finish. So let me go ahead and do that. And I wanted to show you the rest of my I bought. I found a little tree to go on my little desk here. I thought it was cute. Um, I started reading on this. Sarah McLean, Wicked and the Wallflower. Wallflower. Um, I started reading this uh, yesterday because I finished up. I had two books I was reading on. I finished one of them. And so once I finished, uh, dog, I can't think of what the name of it was, uh, but I'm still trying to read on Glimmer. That's going slow uh, by, uh, I can't think of what her name. I should have brought those books up here with me, but I can't think of her name right now, but it's called Glim Beth Carey. I'm reading uh, Glimmer by Beth Carey. Um, it's going very slow. Yeah. And the other book was like a um, romantic suspense. I finished that. Yeah, but both of those books I was having a hard time finishing, but I finished one of them. So once I finished uh, the, the uh, Romantic Suspense, I started on this. So um, I should be finished with today. This is uh, going pretty quickly. So hopefully I'll finish this today. I'm going to go back and try to finish Glimmer. If not, I'll just start on another book. Yeah, because Glimmer and me, yeah. <laughs> Glimmer uh, by Beth Carey, that's going very, very slow. Uh, I want to show you my little... Uh, dolls over here my little raggedy ann and andy's i got sitting over here i had these things for a long time i found them at a uh at a thrift shop one time and uh they've been sitting here i need to wash them because they just gathering dust i used to have them in plastic then i took them out i don't know why i took them out i should have kept them in plastic because yeah they're very dusty right now and here's my little bookshelf uh see what row we started on. I think it's this one. We stopped I mean the row we stopped on was this one. So let's start on this. See what I have up in here. Hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um first we got here is uh by Delilah Marvell. Um I like I like reading her books. She do historical. I, I got some of her books, uh Delilah Marvell, The Perfect Scandal. I've read this but I can't remember it too much. Um I don't think it made an impression on me. So I said, I'm going to go back. The books I have on here, I'm going to go back and read them. And the ones I, I've said it before, the ones I don't like, I'm going to get rid of. Because usually when I would read a book, whether it was good or not, I would keep it. And I, I can't I can't keep doing it. I need to get <laughs> I got too many books backing up in here. So I'm just going to, the ones I don't really, really like, I'm going to get rid of them. So I'm going to go back and read through. Most of these on this shelf, I'm going to go back and read through. And if I don't like them, because uh, I got some on here I read before and some of them I haven't read. So they all mixed in here together. So I'll read a little bit of uh, the synopsis of this one. Maybe it'll jog my memory. And let me see here. If there is anything Tristan Adam Hargrove, fourth Marcus of Moreland, has learned to avoid is scandal. For the dark and dashing Lord is not only an honorable gentleman who would never seduce a woman for his own gain. He is also the author of How to Avoid a Scandal, the infamous red book that has swept like wildfire through the better part of London society. So, no, none of that jogged my memory. <laughs> Let's move on to the next uh, sentence here. Um, paragraph. When a raven-haired beauty arrives as his new neighbor, he knows better than to succumb to the desire he feels. He knows little about her, only that she is highborn a protege of the crown and completely unsuitable for the base passions he hides from the world. If only he had never glimpsed the vulnerable beauty one fateful night. If only her lips were not so ravishingly, ravishingly red. If only it were not already too late to save her and himself from the untamed passion he is about to unleash in the name of love. Nope, did none, did, did none of that uh, jog my memory, so I'm going to have to go back and check this out. This is Delilah Marvell, uh, ro uh, Romantic Historical, Historical Romance, The Perfect Scandal. Now, I do kind of remember this one, Julia Garwood. She's an excellent uh, writer. If you haven't read Guardian Angel, you need to check it out. If you can find it in a used bookstore, if you haven't read it already, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, this is Julia Garwood, Guardian Angel. Uh, uh, historical. 
I really enjoyed this. I think she was like, yep, a pirate or something. The uh, the emerald flew across the sea, its black hull teasing the wave, its sails whipping on the wind. Aboard was the pirate pagan, despised by the ton, whose riches the scoundrel plundered, beloved by the poor, whose plight was eased by the pirate's gift. The, Mar- the Marquess of Canewood vows to hunt down the pirate rent, the pirate rent, the pirate I cannot talk today. The pirate wench in revenge for his brother's death. But when Jade, an enchanting vision of rippling red hair and eyes of fire green, appears at his door to beg desperately for his protection, the Marquis agrees to help her safe, to keep her safe from the villains who want her dead. So this was really, really good. I really enjoyed it because um, once you find out who's the pirate, but you probably already, if you read it, you know who it is. Um, I highly, highly recommend this. This is Julie Garwood, Guardian Angel. Next, I have Victoria Thompson, Wild Texas Wind. I like. Uh, I also like Victoria Thompson. She's a good writer too. Um, I can't remember this much. E- this one too much either. I'll read a little bit of this. Uh, Rebecca Tate, years with the Comanche, left her with precious little. But I don't know why they put this on because you can hardly read read this with that um the picture showing through the uh, background there let me see let's let me see can i get it together rebecca tate years with the command left her with precious little but the faint glimmer of hope that she would ever see the her see the beloved home of her girl of her girlhood of her girlhood again look i need to quit reading (laughs) because I can't get it together today. I'm tongue to I'm tongue tied today. That is until the day a tall, red bearded trader named Sean Madougal strolled into camp and proceeded to r- risk his life rescuing her. Rebecca suspected he might be seeking some kind of glory or the reward her wealthy father offers. Yeah, that didn't trigger any memories either. And this is Victoria Thompson, Wild Texas Wind. Uh, next, I have here Lord Savage uh, by Mia or Maya, Mia or Maya Gabriel. I'm gonna go with Maya. Maya Gabriel. Um, I got this from the um, Dollar Tree. Yeah, I saw this in there. I couldn't leave it. I I don't I don't even know if I read the back of this or not. Uh, and if I did, whether I like the synopsis, I couldn't leave it in there. I had to get it. And this is Lord Savage, um, Maya Gabriel. I read a little bit of this. See what this say. Once trapped in a loveless, pre- pleasureless marriage, Evelyn Hart leaves her home in New York for the glittering ballrooms of London. When she arrives, she meets the Earl of Savage, a dark, powerful man who seems to live up to his name. Despite his noble trapping, he's also a man who can possess her, who can possess her with just one look. Soon, Evelyn finds herself pulled into Savage World, to Savage's world, a world of passion and seductive games unlike any she has ever experienced evelyn hart is captured with no hope of escape but can they overcome the tortures of the past together oh that sounds pretty good i said i'll give it a try i'll probably put this on my next tbr uh hopefully if i don't forget i'm gonna put this on there and check it out see what's going on with lord savage next i have because you're mine by claire contreras i think i've uh showed this on here in the hall i'm not gonna read the back of this and uh, I haven't read this yet. I'm going to put this. I'm gonna look, I'm going to take this and put it on my TV, next TBR too. And I've read another book by Claire Contreras. And I really, really enjoyed it. It was a sports romance. Um, so uh, I said, let me check out something else by her. And so I bought this because you're mine. Uh, let's go through some of my movies I got on here. Let's see what I got on here. Love and Other Drugs. This is a nice little romantic uh, comedy with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway. If you haven't checked, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I think you'll like it. Uh, it has some uh, sexual situ- uh, sexual content in there. So, like I said, if you don't like uh, sexual content in your movies, you might not want to watch this because this is it. Yeah, it has some sexual content in there, but I really, really enjoyed it, so I, I bought it. Love and other drugs, and I like Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway. She done came a long way from the Princess Bride. <laughs> was it the Princess Bride or what was it? She played in. I oh, talk. I can't even think of it. Where she finds out she's a, a princess. Yeah. <laughs> um, next, I got Fear here with the um, 
Mark Wahlberg and uh, what is her name? Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, have any of you seen this? <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. He loses his mind in this in this uh in this picture. Uh, I liked him and her. Uh, it was like a little romance until he went totally crazy. Yeah, he went cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess people realize he could act in this movie because he was to yeah he had me going because he was totally wacko up in here <laughs> but I enjoyed the movie so much I said let me get it and uh it's fear uh with Mark Wahlberg and uh Reese Witherspoon I was like get yourself together he was he was just totally nuts he started out fine and from out of nowhere he came became possessive and stuff yeah he was losing it <laughs> Next, I got Mechanic. I think I mentioned I'm a big uh, action movie fan. So I bought this with Jason Jason Statham. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, that last name. And Ben Foster. I like Ben Foster, too. That's Ben Foster right there. Let me show it to you here. I'm a big fan of Ben Foster, so I would like, let me get this. And uh, what is his name? Uh, Donna Sutherland. Right there. It was pretty good. It was okay. I bought it. I liked it. Like I said, it had two of my two actors that I like. So I said, let me get Jason and uh, Ben uh, Ben Foster. Uh, next, I have Waterworld. Yeah, <laughs> I know a lot of people uh, got on uh, Kevin Costa for making this movie, but it was all right to me. I liked it, so I, yeah, I went ahead and bought it. <laughs> I went ahead and got it. Then that's Waterworld with Kevin Costner. Yeah, he got. Yeah, they rimmed him a new one for making that movie. Cause uh, I looked at that one. They said that that was a very very expensive movie, but I watch it. it that's all right to me. I got Alice in Wonderland on here. Falling down the rabbit hole. <laughs> uh, next I have uh. E equal equilibrium with and I bought this because of Christian Bale. I like Christian Bale, and it also had um Tay Diggs in it too. I was like, look at old Tay Diggs trying to get got some uh action move going on. <laughs> I enjoyed this one, so I, I purchased this one. E equal, I can't even pronounce it. Do any of you have uh certain words that you can't hardly pronounce? Yeah, i I have a lot of trouble pronouncing some words. I get all tongue tied and they it just do not come out right. Equal E, look, I'm not even gonna say it now. And then once you tr once you know you can't pronounce it, then you sure can't pronounce it. Then so I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> look, I can say it in my mind, but it just won't come out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, let's see what else I got up in here. I showed you Alice Mulan. This is my favorite of uh, Disney movie Mulan. Excellent, excellent movie. Really, really enjoyed it. Look, I'm just like a kid. I got a lot of kids. No, I don't have any kids. <laughs> I'm the kid. <laughs> Mulan. Excellent movie. Uh, see what else I have up here. The Fifth Element. I watch this all the time with Bruce Willis and uh, Mila, Mila Jokovic or some kind of way. I can't pronounce her last name, but um, that's her right there. If I can show it to you right there. And Bruce Willis and... Um, what is this other guy name? I can't I don't know what his I can't think of what his name is. Let me see here. If I can find it. Uh what was his name? They don't even have his name on here. Gary Gary Oldman. Yeah, that's his name. Gary Oldman right there. That was good. I I watched this over and over. I, I love that movie, The Fifth Element. Uh let's see what we got up in here. And you know I had to get Jane Austen Persuasion. The PBS version. Yeah. Love it. Jane Austen Persuasion up in here. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It was a... Oh, it's a BBC video. I get BBC and PBS because back in the day, uh, PBS used to show a lot of uh, the BBC movies. But now the BBC got its own channel now. So, yeah. yeah this picture right here. If you want to see some <laughs> no country for old men oh my god with josh brolin and uh tommy lee jones and javier Bardem. oh my goodness oh and javier oh this guy right here 
He was too crazy up in that movie. Too, too crazy. Uh, next, I got The Godfather 1 and 2. But 2 is my favorite. Because it's got... Um, Michael, I don't want you to be in the family. <laughs> I want you to do other stuff. <laughs> it didn't work out that way for Michael. Yeah, that thing, you know, he running things. Here you go. Michael Corleone. And what is... um. Oh, uh, what is his name? Robert De Niro. I love Robert De Niro. So I, I like part two better than I like. I like part one. Um, I like part one, but part two is my favorite out of The Godfather because it have uh, Robert De Niro in there. I like Al Pacino, but Robert, I, lo I like Robert De Niro better. Yeah. Michael, my son. <laughs> and next I have here... Um, you know what? What collection would what uh DVD collection would would it be without uh some Sherlock Holmes up in here? All the old ones, uh with uh Basil Rathbone. Uh, these are the um real old one with uh Basil. There you go, right there. The old black and white Sherlock Holmes. Of course. Let's move on down to my next row here. Let's put these books back up in here. Get them back and get them back up in here. I'm gonna have to buy me a big this I'm gonna have to buy me a little hopefully I can buy a bigger bookshelf to put in this little corner right here. Not too big, but enough to spread all these. I won't have to be stacking everything up on top of each other. We'll see. Get that back up in there. Next I have a Tony Atonia Washington. I bought this for the cover. Look at that cover. Love it. Passions Furies. Um and I got to check this. I'm going to add this to my TBR for for next month, too. Atonia Washington. Yeah, and it's a historical. Like I said, you don't have too many uh, black historicals, African-American historicals. So, yeah, I got to check it out. I'm going to put this on my uh, TBR for uh, next month. Passion Fury. Love it. Look at that. Yes. Beautiful. Put that up there so I won't forget it. Next, we have Feel a Promise by Janice Joyce. And this is a tapestry. Uh, this was non number 34 in the tapestry uh, line, I guess. Historical romance. Next, I got uh, Deborah Simmons. I'm a big fan of Deborah Simmons. I love her writing. The Squire's Daughter. I really, really enjoyed this. If you haven't read it, check it out. If you can find it in a used bookstore or online um on amazon uh check it out the squire's daughter deborah simmons and uh just try some of deborah simmons books out she's an excellent excellent writer and uh this is a holoquin historical next i have uh victoria doll i remember i um uh, i had another one of her books up there but it was a contemporary but this is a historical to temp a scotman if you haven't read this check it out really really she's a good writer i love her historicals i think i mentioned on here that uh, she's been doing a lot of she having she haven't did any historical lately, but um, she's been doing uh, a lot of contemporary. Let me see. Can I find when this was published? Uh, let's see. 2007. If you haven't tried any of her books out, check them out. Her, especially her historical. Highly, highly recommend them to, tame, to tempt a Scotsman. Next, we got uh, Carol Flinch. I used to read her back in the day. Way, way back in the day. And this is Rapture's Dream, a historical. Let me see when this one was published. Uh, Yeah, you see it? Uh, 1982. There it is right there, Carol Flint. I read a lot of her books. I really, really enjoy her book, her writing, Carol Flint, Rapture's Dream. Next, I have uh, Laura Griffin. I'm a fan of Laura Griffin. She do a lot of... Uh, Romantic suspense. It's really dealing with the suspense, but it got a little romance in there. But I like her writing. And this is Twisted by Laura Griffin. Uh, romantic suspense. I don't think I've read this one, though. Got to check it out. And here's Iris Johansson, Midnight Warrior, historical. I really enjoyed this one. If you haven't read any, I'm sure a lot of you read uh, Iris Johansson. But she's been writing a lot of uh, romantic suspense lately. Or just... I ain't gonna say it. it's supposed to be a little romance in there, but it's mostly to be dealing with suspense. But 
suspense, but I really enjoy her historical uh, Midnight Warrior. It was good. Uh, next, I have uh, Linda Ladd Miller, My Darling Melissa. I got quite a few of Linda Ladd Miller uh, old books, historicals, and this is a historical. Let's look at some of the movies I got up in here. I like old movies, so I got uh, Julie Garland and Van Heflin presenting Lily Mars. I, I saw this on, um, was it A&E? &A &E? One of them old, um, old channels where they show a lot of old movies. And I really enjoyed this, so I ordered it. And I like Julie Garland. I really, really like her uh, acting. And so I said, let me get this, presenting Lily Mars. That was good. I really enjoyed it. So I had to get it. Uh, next I have... Yeah, you ever seen Full Metal Jacket? Yeah, guess them. <laughs> Especially when it first come on. Oh my goodness, it's too much. But I had to get this, and it's by Stanley Kubrick, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, next I have uh, Out of Sight with uh, Jennifer Lopez and George Clooney. I enjoyed this too. Uh, I don't know why Jennifer Lopez be doing all these comedies because that's just not up her alley. She is a more she need to be doing more serious movies. I like her as a serious actress uh, instead of do, trying to do comedy or whatever because she tore it up in this movie right here. She had it, uh, she had it going on in this movie because her persona in this movie was great. But when she be trying to do those comedies, it just seemed like she be going against type. I don't know. Her and comedies don't do it for me. But if she do like serious roles like this right here, playing a cop, like on her um, TV series, that's more suited to her. To me, in my opinion, yeah. <laughs> let me leave that alone. Uh, next, let me see what else I got up in here. This is sticking together here. Uh, this is uh, Harrison Ford uh, in uh, Patriot Games. He's playing, is it Jack Ryan? I think so. I enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed it. Because I'm a big fan of Sean Bean. If you know who Sean Bean is, they don't have a picture of him on here. But he plays the bad guy in this. I'm a big fan of Sean Bean. And I was like, let me get this. And I like Harrison Ford, too. Um, it was Patriots game. I really, really enjoyed this action movie. Uh, next, I have uh, The Rookie. Have any of you seen The Rookie with Dennis Quaid? I love this movie. This is a good, wholesome movie about baseball and him dealing with his uh the kid i think it's based on a true story uh the kids that he teach i think he um he's the coach uh he's a coach of the high school uh baseball team or whatever and they bet him and he um because when he was young he wanted to be a pitcher and he uh tried out i think he hurt his arm or something so he couldn't he couldn't be a pitcher pitcher uh, but as he got older and his arm got better he started uh, throwing again and he found out that he could uh, his pitching were better than when he was young or whatever and this kid um, bet him that if they could win the pen, uh, you know I guess whatever they were in that he would go and try out for a baseball team this movie was really really good I highly highly recommend it and it's called The Rookie I loved it uh, next we have uh, Greystoke this is the old Greystoke uh when they did Tarzan with, uh, what was his name? I can't think of what his name is. Had a little love story going on with him and Jane. What was his name? Um, Christopher, Christopher Lambert. He did a good job as Tarzan. I enjoyed this. Uh, next we got Broken Arrow with um, John Travolta and Christian Slater. Really, really enjoyed this one too. Another action movie. Uh, knocked up with um, what is Seth Rogen and Katherine Heigl? Yeah, this was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I bought it. Um, got the edition, got the uh, collector's edition. And Seth Rogen, he crazy anyway. So <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, next I got Speed with oh uh, Keanu Keanu Reeves. Oh, Keanu and uh, what her Sandra Bullock, yeah, and oh, Dennis Hopper. That's a good movie. Uh, what else I got over here? I got Madonna. Um, when she was in Italy, I don't know why I kept this, yeah, because yeah, it didn't do it. Let me take this up out of here, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. I thought I had got rid of that one, and then I got Belly 
I really enjoy this movie with uh, Nas and DMX. I love DMX. What happened, D? What happened? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> no, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> but I like how... Uh, who directed this? Uh, what is his name? Hype William. I like how Hype William did this movie. Uh, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Belly. I had to go get it. And... Let me put these back in here. Uh, that's it for that row. Let's get down here to the bottom row down here. We're almost finished, people. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Joan Holt, the gentleman in Sis. Uh, she used to write for Silhouette um, Desire. I think she... Uh, she do a uh, romantic suspense now. I don't know. I haven't. Mostly her books I only read with Silhouette. And this was a uh, Silhouette Desire 475. The Gentleman Insists. Uh, next I got Rachel Lindsay. Holoquin Present. Affair in Venice. Book number 104. Look at that cover. Beautiful. Uh, next I have uh, Silhouette Intimate Moments. 126. Agent, what is it? Provocator? Yeah. Lucy Hamilton. There you go. Uh, next, I have here Jake Walker's wife with Lor Lori Law. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't, I don't, I've never read. I don't remember. I have to go back and read this one. I don't remember her, this author too much. I don't remember this author. I don't remember this one. Lucy Hamilton too much. But the other two. Yeah, I know who these are. Rachel Lindsay and Joan Holt. I know that I know those authors. Uh, we got Sandra Brown with Sunset Embrace. I really enjoyed this. I remember this. Uh, this is a historical set in the West. If you haven't read it, check it out. It's Sandra Brown, Sunset Embrace. And I think this was like a two book uh I think she did two books on this on this couple. I think so. I kind of, I think, I can't remember. But I know I enjoyed this book, Sunset Embrace by Sandra Brown. Check it out. She's an excellent writer. Um, next, I have Nora Hiss. Uh, I've mentioned Nora Hiss on this channel before. I enjoy her writing too. She writes a lot of uh, Western, historical Western. And this is called Wild, Wildfire. Nora Hiss. Uh, next I have Marrying Miss Shallow by Sharon Isles. Um, I think I read this too. I think I enjoyed it. I gotta go, like I said, I gotta go back and reread some of these and make sure Marrying Miss Shallow by Sharon Isles. And this is a historical. Uh, next I have Georgina Gentry, Comanche Cowboy. I really enjoyed this one. I like Georgina Gentry too, uh, historical Western. Really, really enjoyed it. If you haven't read it, check it out. Uh, highly, highly recommend it. Enjoyed it. Next, I have Christine Townsend. Love on Hold. Sorry, guys. Uh, I had to answer the phone. But uh, where was I at? I was on this book right here by Christine Townsend. And this is called Love on Hold. I haven't read this yet. And I got this because uh, I was looking at TV and I saw this author. I think she's from uh, Tennessee. I was looking for her biography in the back of here. Uh, but it's not back here. But um, I, I uh, said, let me check her out. So this love on hold, I'll probably put this on my next TBR too. I have forgot about these books up in here. So I like, let me put this on my, I'm going to put this up here too. And I put this on my January TBR, Love on Hold by Christine Townsend. I wish they had her biography on the back here in this book, but it don't. I read a little bit of this. Oh, this is a sequel. In this sequel to Passion's Promise, Newlywed Carl Up, I need to, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to get the sequel of this one. I might have it already. I got to look and see, but yeah, this is going to be on the same couple. So you're going to have to read the first one to understand what's going on. And this is Christine Townsend, Love on Hold. Put this up here and I'm going to try to find the uh, other book in the uh, 
the first book called Passion's Promise. Yes, yeah, so I remember that. Put that up there. And what we got next here? Uh, we got Jane Feather. I bought a lot of Jane Feather books back in the day. This is Historical Virtue. Uh, she's an excellent writer. If you, if you haven't read any of her books, uh, try them out. Jane Feather Virtue. Uh, next, I have uh, Lisa Claypaws. This one back in the day, Only in Your Arms. Highly, highly recommend her. I've talked about her on my channel before. I, I love her. Uh, uh, this is another favorite author of mine. I love her writing. Uh, if you haven't uh, read any of her books, you need to check them out. Highly, highly recommend it. Re re recommend them. And I also recommend this book right here, Only in Your Arms. They probably don't uh, republished it with a different cover. Uh, let me see when this was published. Let's see, can I find the um see what i wrote in here there you go very good uh let's see can i find now uh, when was this published um 1992 there you go lisa clay pause highly recommend only in your arms only in your arms try it out and then i got um janelle taylor Defiant Ecstasy. I really enjoyed this book right here. Look, I call myself putting a cover on it and everything, but it's still in bad shape. I'm going to have to go find me another copy of this because I really, really enjoyed this right here. Uh, and I think uh, this is a two or three book series, Defiant Ecstasy, on the same on this same couple. I really, really enjoyed the first book. I don't know about the other two. I'm not going to get into it because, yeah. Uh, yeah, but... I'm going to go find me another copy of this. I really, really enjoy it. And I love this cover. I hate it's messed up. Look at that cover. Beautiful. Uh, let's see what we got down here. The movies. Check these out. Let's check this book out first. Because it's all straddling the... You're going to tear the book up. <laughs> uh, we got Catherine Sutcliffe. Devotion, another historical. I like Catherine Sutcliffe, too. I, I used to read her back in the day, too. I uh, highly recommend some of her older books, uh, historicals. I uh, really enjoy her writing, Su Catherine Sutcliffe. So let's see what we got over here. Uh, we, here goes another Jane Austen, Northanger Abbey from the BBC. Really enjoyed this one from Masterpiece Theater. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. That's where that other movie came from. It was Masterpiece Theater, but um, I think it was through the BBC. Really enjoyed this. Uh, next, I have uh, Romance in the Stone, another romantic movie with um, uh, Michael Douglas and Catherine, Kathleen Turner. I really enjoyed this one, Romance in the Stone. Highly, highly recommend both of these movies, romantic movies. Uh, next, I have uh, the Four Musketeers uh, with um, Richard Chamberlain, Raquel Welch, Michael York, Faye Dunaway. Um, this is the uh, second movie to the Three Musketeers because uh, I got the first one and uh, I like the first one so much. This is the second movie. To, they, they did a second uh, movie to the Musketeers and now it's the Four Musketeers. I think this is, is this the original one? Maybe it is. I know they did another one. They got two of them. So I think the first one was just the Three Musketeers. And now it's the Four. Yeah, this is the second one, the Four Musketeers. I enjoyed it. So I, I bought the second one. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Pitch Black with Van Diesel. Enjoyed this one. Look at the eyes. Uh, next, I got Say Anything with John Cusack. I really enjoyed this. This is a little uh, when the YA romance with John Cusack and uh, what was her name? I don't know what her name was. Uh, Ioni Sky. I think Ioni Sky. There, there's a picture of them together. Excellent, excellent movie. Say Anything. Uh, next, I have. Uh, Shadow of a Doubt, an old Alfred Hitchcock movie with Joseph Carton and Teresa Wright. I really enjoyed this one. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Alfred Hitchcock, Joseph Carton and Teresa Wright, Shadow of a Doubt. It's a um, 
suspense. You know, uh, Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock did all of those suspense movies. I'm going to put some of these back in here and then we'll go on with the rest of that. Get these back in here right quick. I can. And next we have here is a. Uh, remember when Prison Break came out with. Uh, I don't know what his name I don't know. I don't know what either of these guys' name is. But I enjoyed the first season. So I bought the first season. But after that, because I looked at the whole first season. But when the second season started. I was like, how far can you take them being in prison and them trying to break out? I don't know. But I just got the first season. And after that, I don't think I even watched the rest of the, the show. Uh, but I really enjoyed the first season because of it. I was like, this is a pretty interesting premise. And uh, I don't know the I don't know these guys. Uh, oh, Wentworth Miller. That's Wentworth Miller right there. All right here. Wentworth Miller. And what is this other guy name? Dominique Purcell and that's him Dominique Purcell right there both of them playing um I think they playing in a Marvel um some kind of Marvel show come on TV I can't think of the name of it with uh with some uh superheroes or something I think one of them shoot fire with a fire I can't remember but uh yeah they're they're doing they're playing together in another um TV series on TV both of them playing together again. But uh and I think they had remade Prison Break too, but I didn't look at that either. But I just got the first season of it. I gotta go back and look at this. The first season of Prison Break. I got Tender Mercies with Robert Duvall. Excellent movie. If you haven't seen this, check it out. Tender Mercies. Really enjoyed it. I need to get that on DVD. Uh I don't know what's in that one. And here's the uh Here's the first Ghostbuster because I got the second one up there. But here's the first one here with uh, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Sigoni Weaver. Loved it. And then over here, I got some puzzles that I need to put together. But I like the I like the picture on here. That old vintage looking. Yeah, y'all know I love, love vintage stuff. So I said, let me get this. Look like they're in Paris. The man on the gondola right there. And this also looked vintage to me with the like old camera. Camera. The old vintage camera right there. And look like we're getting, they're getting ready to go on vacation or something. That was, I thought that was cute. So I said, let me get this. One day I'll put it together. <laughs> one day well that's all i have for now i don't know if i mentioned um i got my uh romantic reveal book box so i'll once i post this video i will do another video uh and post see what uh i got from uh the reveal book box i'll do that next let me put all these back in here and hopefully i can um get through some of these books i'm gonna put some of them on my tbr for january see can i get through some of these and figure out which ones i want to keep but this is my little small uh bookshelf right here all the rest of my books are in boxes that's it so um let me go ahead and stop this video now and i'll get it posted and hopefully i can come back and do my reveal book box today if not i'll do it tomorrow but until next time keep reading those romance people and i'll see you later have a great evening bye